Hey there cat, Benny from the future here. I'm actually sitting here editing the video and realizing that I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. So I just want to make it clear, I'm not telling you not to learn Flutter and I'm not telling you that React Native in any way is better than Flutter. This is just a parody how I feel about like all the new frameworks and libraries coming out every day when it comes to uh, especially the JavaScript world and everything else. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't hate me. Just watch the entire clip first, and then you can hate me. Have you heard that you can do native apps with JavaScript nowadays? Really, I always wanted to learn how to do mobile apps. Uh... So React and React Native is totally the way to go when you do JavaScript today. Okay, cool, I guess. By the way, you do use ECMAScript 6, right? Uh, yes. Have you heard of Redux? Have you heard of TypeScript? Have you heard of GraphQL? Have you heard of Recompose? Yes, I finally know how to use React Native, the most modern way to create multi-platform apps. I can't wait to put this to practice. Hey, have you heard that Google just released a new innovative way to create cross-platform mobile applications? It's called Flutter. But seriously, Flutter is new. Uh, nobody knows if it will take a big, uh, big spot on the marketplace. And maybe Flutter is the future, maybe React is the future, maybe something else will come along, you never know. Or I'm saying it's just released in beta, you don't need to feel the pressure to learn exactly everything new and shiny, like it can be quite overwhelming. And I just deep dived into JavaScript and into React and React Native, so I really don't feel like uh, taking up a new framework actually. And it's not like I discourage you to learn learn new things. You should always be learning new things. You just can't learn everything. You have to pick what you want to learn. Uh, what you want to learn. So, I mean, I really hope it goes well for Flutter, and I might check it out if it turns out to actually be really cool. And what what, what I really like with React right now is that well, I know it. <laughs> it works. Also, uh, I really like that you can create. You just have to learn React, and then you can kind of both. Uh, both use it for websites uh, and for mobile applications, which I think is really awesome because I jump between them quite a lot. I mean, one week I can do a website, one week I have an idea for an app and I want to do both of them so I can just jump back and forth without actually changing the language. Also, it's pretty nice when you have Node on the server side as well, so it's just JavaScript everywhere and you can create anything. Uh, but I'm not saying that you should learn React and React Native instead of Flutter. It's just do whatever you feel is right, but just don't feel the pressure that you need to learn either of them. Just pick something that you're good and comfortable with, or that you want to learn at the moment, and learn that. That is actually what I have to say about Flutter. I haven't learned it, I've read about it, and I'm probably not gonna try it out until I'm tired of React, or until it actually takes a big share of the marketplace.